close your eyes. Take a couple of gone <clears throat> long, deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel the breathing in the body. Try to get your attention to settle down right here. The mind needs a place to stay, otherwise it's like a homeless child out in the streets exposed to all kinds of dangers. You need a good place to stay here in the body. Now when you stay in the body, if it's not pleasant, you're going to go running out. So try to make the breath comfortable. And think of the breath as a whole body process. When you breathe in, it's not just air coming in and out of the lungs, but there's an energy flow that goes through the nerves, through the blood vessels, out to the pores of the skin in all directions. So make this your home. And, and it's not making any house home. It's going to take a while to adjust and move in. Part of the mind will want to go out wandering out again, but just no, you bring it right back. Because when the mind has a home like this, both the mind and the body benefit. It's like a house. You move into the house, and if you run away, spend all your time outside, then there's nobody to look after the house. Rats can come in, birds can come in, mice, all kinds of vermin. Things can fall apart, the, the pipes can break, the electricity lines can break, and the whole thing burns down. Because there's nobody to look after it. But when you're looking after the house, okay, then you're safe, and at the same time, the house is in good, sh in good shape and you're protected. You're protected from the rain and the wind and the storms and the sun. And the same with the body. You can stay here in the body in the present moment. You have a sense of belonging here. And then when the mind goes out, it goes out only because you want it to. Otherwise you keep it in here. Remember, this is a home. It's not a bus station. All too often we let everything come in and go out. Anything that comes in the mind, you just speak it. Whatever comes in from outside, it, you let it take over the mind. And it's like a bus station. You know what happens in bus stations? All kinds of things are going on. But in your home, you can decide to shut the windows, shut the doors, open them only when you need to. And that way bad things don't come in, and you don't let bad things out of the house. So look after your house here. After all, you got it from your parents. That's their gift to you. It's a good thing to think about that on, on Father's Day. No matter how our parents have behaved, at least we owe our bodies and, and our existence to them. And one way of repaying that debt is to do good things with the body, do good things with the mind. It's like having borrowed something. You have borrowed goods, you know you're going to have to pay it back. Well, you want to pay it back. Sometimes they pay it back with interest, but you want to have some profit to show for it. So the profit you have is the profit of the good the results of the good things you've done. Your thoughts, your words, your deeds, the things you choose to say and think and do. These things are your profits. Of course, there are losses if you decide to do things that are unskillful, things that are harm yourself, harm other people. Then not only do you have to pay back the, the debt, but you've also got a bigger loss. And that's not a good position to be in. So you've got this body, you can make it a good home. Look after it and use it as a tool to do good things in life. Be generous, be virtuous, and meditate like this. Give the mind a sense to having a place where it belongs, where it can settle down. It gives it the strength to do the things that it knows are skillful. So when someday we're going to have to leave the house, we'll leave it in as good shape as possible. And at the very least, get as most benefit out of it, i.e. use the fact that you have a place to rest so that you can do your work with skill and do your work with the energy. And that way you repay all your debts all around. <clears throat>